Yo, it's your boy JT, and I'm coming at you again with another video. This video is about uh, Provodnikov versus Alvarado. Um, there's a lot of fights coming up soon, so I got a lot of breaking down to do. So we're gonna start off with this. <clears throat> if you look at uh, uh, Provodnikov, I mean uh, Alvarado's record he's had a record of 34 wins 23 by knockout one loss the loss the lone loss coming to uh brandon rios if you look at provodnikov's record he got a record of 22 wins 15 knockouts and two losses his two losses come in to timothy bradley and mauricio herrera uh, but if you look at their both both these guys resumes they're pretty similar uh not a lot of big names, you know. The biggest name Provodnikov ever fought was Timothy Bradley, uh, and Emmanuel Augustus, which he KO'd, and uh, Chop Chop Corley, which he also uh, well he decisioned him in Russia. Then you look at Alvarado, his biggest uh, biggest names on his resume is Brandon Rios, which he got knocked out and redeemed himself for the WBO interim welterweight title light welterweight title he he got it back in the decision his last fight in march and he also got breeders prescott and um any any and carlos molina uh he also fought so i mean it's it's pretty much a wash with the resume it's not really a bunch of names there you know the biggest name for uh for for alvarado like i said is rios and breeders prescott you know, but those were two great fights, action friend, uh, fan friendly fights, and um, you know we'll just see what happens here. Uh, how I see this fight going, um, this is gonna be a great fight for fans who like brawling and like action fights. It's gonna be a great fight. It's gonna be back and forth. It's gonna be a lot of. There will be blood in this fight. There'll be a lot of action. Um. The thing is, you know, Mike Alvarado has a, a little bit better boxing ability. Um, if you look at his career, he's more of a boxer puncher. Um, he can he can move a lot better, as you saw in his last fight with Brandon Rios. Um, I think he can make this an easy night for himself. You know, if he, he could just outbox him. I mean, he's not the boxer that Bradley is, but... Um, he can make this a pretty easy night. Will he? I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. Um, the problem with Alvarado is he can't seem to get away from trading with guys. You know, um, that's why, I mean, that's frankly why he's on HBO. You know, he always has exciting fights. Um, he loves to bang and... Um, in this fight, I honestly think this is the biggest puncher he's ever faced. You know. Uh, I see him trading with Provodnikov and getting hurt and getting stopped, actually. So I'm going I'm gonna go with Provodnikov in this fight. Uh I just think Provodnikov is a, a much bigger puncher than a lot of the guys on Alvarado's resume. And I just see him catching Alvarado, hurting him, and TKO on him. So I'm going to go TKO about round eight. You know, I, I think Alvarado's going to come out. He's going to try to box him and make easy work of him. But, you know, Alvarado, I mean, if you watch his fights, I've been watching Alvarado a long time. So um, he's had a lot of fights here in California. And, you know, um, uh, well... That and the fact that he's always training out here, so you can always go catch him down at the gyms down here. And um, he's just, he likes to trade, you know, he likes to bang. And I just think this is the wrong guy right here. I think Provodnikov, I mean, he showed you what in the, the damage he can do if you if you let him get off on you. I mean, um, no homo, but if you watch the fight with uh, Bradley... I mean, you trade with them, it's going to be brutal. 
you know. So I, I actually gonna go with Peronikov here. I know he's the underdog, you know. So I'm gonna go with Peronikov by KO in seven eight. I'm gonna go eight round KO, eight round TKO, Peronikov. It's your boy JT. I'm out.